In this video, you will see how to make a cyber deck. This deck will be made from an old laptop, cobbled together the way things are in the dystopic future. No CAD, no 3D printing. Only scrap parts and resin. I start by pulling apart the donor laptop, and this is my first time taking apart an old laptop. Apart from some of the hidden screws, it's all really simple, and once I remove the internals and dremel off some of the internal mounting tabs, I'm left with a really good space to work. It's wide open, it's rectangular, this is a great base for projects like this. I attach a linear slide which I'll be using for the trackpad, and then I disassemble an old battery bank. I'm going to be cramming lithium ion cells anywhere I have a ex little extra space just to get as much battery power as I can in this thing. In order to adjust the travel length of the linear slide, I remove some of the bearings. And then I epoxy magnets at either end of the linear slide's travel so it stays in place. For the keyboard, I'm using the Let Split Rev 2, and I've dremeled and sanded the chassis of this keyboard so that it fits in perfectly. Also, I'm adding extra power cells, like I said, anywhere there's additional space. And this one's in a little clear housing, so it looks pretty cool. For the trackpad, I'm using a Magic Trackpad 2. I splurged on this, but I want a good trackpad, and I am just going to be epoxying this to the linear slide. I know, I know, epoxy for this, but this is the future, and everything's going to be with adhesive, so I feel fine about it. It seems pretty sturdy once it's cured. Next I add an auxiliary display. This is an e-ink display, so even if the Raspberry Pi is turned off, it'll be able to still have some interesting graphics on it. The Pi that I'll be using is the Raspberry Pi Zero power it, I just remove the electronic board from that power bank that I've disassembled. One thing to be careful of is you need to make sure the voltage is identical for all your lithium ion batteries before attaching them to a power bank like this. At this point I have to make a decision. If I want to make a standard cyber deck like other people have done, I can just take that battery uh, bank wire it up to the Raspberry Pi with an on-off switch, and then attach uh, dongles to power the keyboard and the trackpad, and use one of those mini 5-inch HDMI Raspberry Pi displays. But unfortunately, the experience of using a Raspberry Pi with one of those mini displays is crap, and I want to actually use this CyberDeck regularly. So I decided to connect up an iPad mini to the keyboard and trackpad, and then remote into the Raspberry Pi. Because hey, in the future you can have a single device with multiple modules communicating wirelessly and not directly connected electronically. I dremel out the top cover of the computer so I can access the on-off switch for the Raspberry Pi and the pinouts. I'm someone who does hardware projects more than software so I really want access to those pins. To attach the iPad, I dremel out some pieces from the top cover of the computer, spray paint them, and then I attach this magnet disc and that lets me magnet the iPad in place. And with that, I'm finished. This is super usable when just using it as an iPad dock. So I've got a great trackpad, great keyboard, and then if I want to use the Raspberry Pi, I can remote into that. And I think this is gonna be useful for projects because I'll be able to have my one window with my Raspberry Pi, and then I'll be able to access the internet real quickly to watch tutorials and I'll be able to go back and forth between using the Pi and looking at a tutorial. In some ways though, this project was just an extra complicated way to get my old iPad to charge via USB-C.